Oh my gosh! I remember when we first viewed the house and we said that the garden with the two like slopes that it's got would be so good for kids and like the family and getting like the sled out and stuff. And now we've blinked. Five years have gone by and it's a reality. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another new video. Hope you're doing good. I said this in my previous video, but it feels like I'm uploading a bunch on YouTube at the moment. Because we're doing Vlogmas over on Zoe's YouTube channel, there's so much filming going on in the house. I'm editing all of the videos that are going up on Zoe's channel at the moment. So the process of making the video is happening every single day in the house and has been for like nearly three weeks now. But obviously I haven't posted on this channel in the past week. So. It's a bit of a strange one, because at the same time that I feel like I'm vlogging a lot, I'm also not vlogging a lot. I'm only vlogging once a week. So welcome back to the channel. If you are watching the videos over on Zoe's channel, I hope you're really enjoying them. I'm having so much fun making them with Zoe. Like I said last week, I feel like these videos that we're making at the moment really are gonna be ones that we watch back for the rest of our lives. And as Otty grows up, she watches them back and gets to like, see her her Christmas experience when she was like 15 months old. Over the years, I'm not gonna lie, Vlogmas has been pretty stressful and pretty intense a bunch of the times when Zoe and I are both trying to like individually film a lot. But this year, really leaning into Zoe's channel and making sure that we're like really, really enjoying creating those videos has been so much more enjoyable and I'm just, just loving it. So for this YouTube video, I wanted to switch things up a little bit and not just film like a typical day in my life, which is obviously what you know that I do on this channel. So I've been filming segments that are like particularly fun things that I've been up to over the last week and then edited up those little segments into pieces and I've turned it into the video that you're about to watch today. I suppose it's just a bunch of lovely moments that I've had over the last week that I've put together into a video for you to enjoy today. <laughs> Now, Father Christmas, he did tell me that some special small folk would be coming to Lapland today. Where are we going? Hello there. Hello. 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 Lovely to see you. But I'm going to do more than that. I'd like to give each of you a present right now. A little thank you from me. Would you like that? Would you like a present? Do you want a present? A present? Are you going to go and get it? Go and get it, Otty. Yes. Say thank you. Uh, oh. Nope. Is it cuddle? Oh. Oh, no, you oh. can't have all of them, Otty. Daddy, Otty's going. Daddy. Oh, yeah. Come with them. You got your one. Oh, we got it. You like dogs? No. This is your one.
if you've watched the vlogs over the last couple of years, you will know that myself, Poppy, Sean, Zoe, a bunch of our friends. Like I'm just sat here like playing, <laughs> playing the game like, yeah, right. <laughs> you just carry on playing yeah, in the background over chill. there. We all bought switches at the same time a couple of years ago and became obsessed. And we've never worked. To since. the point, <laughs> Poppy's joking, but there was points when we should have been working more than we were. We literally all were just messaging and playing our switches non-stop. We live for the Switch. We live for the Switch. So I'm very excited today to be partnering up on this video with Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is a game that I'm more new to. Poppy's been playing longer than me. I'm ahead a of A bunch you. of, she's ahead of me. A bunch of our friends play, a couple of people in the office play. I know a ton of you play because you know obviously that I play the Switch and Zoe plays the Switch and stuff. So I got so many messages when the game launched about whether I'm playing or not and stuff. It's very our vibes. It's it is. Like, if you're after like perfect, cozy Sunday, but like every day is Sunday in Switch world, um, <laughs> like wholesome vibes, you'll love it. It's perfect yeah. for an evening like this, just like chilling, cozy. We've got the hot chop going. We've got the fire on. We've got some snacks. Just having the drink in the evening. In fact, even just like zooming out, one thing that my family, you will definitely know if you've been watching the videos, are obsessed with, is having like games evenings mm -hmm. and like all hanging out and playing all different board games. That has definitely expanded out of just board games because it's obviously not always possible to all be around together to be able to play together. But it is on the Switch. So we've been playing a bunch and then occasionally, evenings like today or on like a cozy Sunday or something, we'll be hanging out, but also whilst hanging out, we'll be playing the Switch at the same time. So it's nice because it's kind of like, you can catch up and chill and chat and like me and my sister hanging out. And then not talk but... to each other what you want to do. No, it's, it's, like, it's like, we're, it's like we're, we're gaming and playing like our switches. But then at the same time, if you do want to have a chat, you're there. But, but equally... We're together, but we're not. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to talk to you. I get to just play. Oh my gosh. No, it's a good, cozy, chill vibe. The game is great. If you like fishing, growing vegetables, doing planting quests, seeds. You know, if you love it. Disney, you get to meet a bunch of the Disney characters and get to befriend them and stuff. It's very nostalgic and like just yeah. It's a very wholesome game, and at the moment, over the next few days, in select stores, the game is going to be discounted up to thirty percent off. So I'm going to leave a link down below. Definitely go check it out. Up to thirty percent off the game in select stores. All the info will be down below. It's a chunky discount. It's a big old discount. I and mean, it's a great game. I and also, recommend. it's just the perfect time of year. Like No one wants to be out in the cold. Everyone wants to be inside doing this and drinking hot chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> My house looks really bad. Why? I'm like, I'm going to show you inside. Okay, wait, let me get in. I've not, I've not been concentrating on the, on the interior. One sec. <laughs> nothing in it. What do you mean there's nothing in like, it? I'm going to show you inside. Okay, look. This is my stove. This is my coffee table and my chair. But my walls look nice, don't they? <laughs> don't you think? What do you mean? <laughs> Have a little go on Poppy's game. See what's up. If you touch <laughs> anything, don't ruin anything. <laughs> Talk to you in an hour. <laughs> 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 Lovely coming round, thanks for the hot chocolate. <laughs> We don't have the longest time in town, so Zoe is running. So Zoe and I currently popped to town for quick last minute Christmas shopping. We've dropped Otty with my parents and the aim right now is to run around and hit as many shops as possible in about 45 minutes. That's all we've got. Are you shopping for yourself? I might be. Well, that's not what we're here for. It's lovely. It's very nice, but unless you're buying it for someone else, put it down. Maybe you could buy it for me. How do you know I've not already bought you things? Have you bought me this? No. Hello. In my hand. Come on! 
Zoe's moaning that I'm just shopping for myself. She just called me over to be like, feel these. I'm like, who for? She's like, no, just feel them. I'm like, pull down. <laughs> so <phone>. lovely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye bye. Thanks so much. Zoe and I have had to split up directions. I'm running to a couple of shops up ahead. Zoe's running to some shops back there. We've got about 15 minutes till we need to leave town. I have to say, so far, incredibly successful. I think we're well on track to get everything we needed. Although now I'm shopping solo. And Zoe's not here. It is very difficult not to stop and go and get a coffee. But I can't. That couldn't have been more successful if we tried. I don't think I've ever. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Done have so much list. shopping in such a short period of time. Just, that really is the way to do it. Have the list, be as precise as possible, and just go. Go, go, go. Like we even had to split up to be like, you go to those shops, yeah. I'll go to these shops. Do you know how hard it was when we were split up? For you to not look for yourself. For me to not buy a coffee. I was Let's walking go. past every coffee you can shop. Buy one now, where we're we going. I was literally walking past every coffee shop, like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> so I had two packages arrive at the house the other day, and I haven't had a chance to open these up yet. I'm super excited because I can see a couple of pieces that are inside. And one thing that I used to do on YouTube quite a lot was unboxings, openings, little like hauls and stuff. So I thought it might be nice to sit down, open them up, have a little chat, and see what there is. So this first bag here is from Space NK, who actually came to the house the other day with the most amazing Santa. He was unbelievable, and Otti just had the best time meeting him, which apparently is something that Space NK does every year. Travel around to different people's houses, surprise them with Santa, and give them, as they're leaving, a bag full of goodies. As I said, I also haven't had a look in here at all, so. I'm seeing this for the first time, as you're seeing this. Aqua de Palma, I think that's how you pronounce it. I was literally in Space NK, I wanna say two days ago. In fact, I think there's actually a clip later on in the vlog, and I was looking at a perfume by this brand, and I was so tempted to purchase it, but then I thought, I can't be buying myself things near Christmas because somebody might have bought me something similar. That smells so good, so good. I don't even know what these other two little products are. That's a body lotion. And this is a shower gel. That is incredibly generous of you. Oh, we've also got my absolute staple go-to. Kiehl's Facial Fuel. I use this product every single day. In fact, this is the only product that I do actually use on my face. And I get asked quite a lot on YouTube what my skincare routine is. And I've never really spoken about it because Literally the only thing that I use on my face is facial fuel moisturizer and nothing else So I don't really have much of a routine So I've never really been able to share it because There's one product so I feel like it'll be like here's my routine 20 seconds later. I'm finished So thank you so much the ultimate shave collection really appreciate that this here is from Aesop Which is a beautiful brand that we've actually got quite a lot of their hand soaps uh, and like hand washes in the house as I, as I said that, there's literally a hand wash here. Ooh. Mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar atlas. I have no idea what any of those things are, but it smells so good. There's also a hand balm, which I feel like is something that I should actually use at this time of year. My hands are pretty dry at the moment. That smells like going to a spa. It instantly makes me feel relaxed. And then next up we've got a Stella McCartney Travel Essential Set. Very fancy. I've never owned anything from Stella McCartney before, but I've heard great things. I mean, even just that. This just looks nice. Is that like a little travel bag? This just looks like something that is on the side in our bathroom that Zoe owns. This doesn't look like anything that I own at all. Also got two more things in here. Reset cleanser, makeup remover and skin purifier. Restore cream, comforting, reparative, moisturizer. I'm looking forward to giving these a go. Space NK, if you are watching, thank you so much 
not only for all of these gifts that you totally did not need to drop off and give me, but also for bringing Father Christmas to our house and just making such a special moment for Otty. Next up in this bag, which I've accidentally ripped when I picked it up, but I haven't looked inside yet. Now this didn't come with like a card or a letter with who it's from, so I think it's from the publishers of James Hoffman's new copy book, which is this book here. I'm a big fan of James Hoffman's videos. Super excited to check out this book. I've actually got his previous book in the living room. You've probably seen it on the side. It's like a brown one. And then in here, we've got a bunch of different coffee products. Got a V60 dripper. This is just such a good staple. Love these. Of course, the little filters that go with it as well. And then in here, ah, oh, we've got a little square mile coffee roasters cup. And then we've also got matching some square mile beans. Yo, I feel like, I feel like Christmas has come early. about to export it to upload and then make myself a coffee and I remember that the other day in last week's video I finished off by showing you the process of no, you have to get playing down there. she's got this little duck toy and it does this funky song at the end of the last video I made a coffee with my espresso machine and I had so many people loving it in the comments and obviously it's quite like a, a longer process and obviously you have to own an espresso machine but I don't always make coffee like that so I thought I'd show a little rundown of how to make a French press coffee, which is super simple. You probably all know how to make it, but I get a bunch of comments on my videos just saying, how do you make your coffee? Can you show us? So I thought I'd show you. I've got Zoe behind filming. Grab your beans here. You can buy these pre-ground as well. You don't have to buy them whole bean. And then take my little grinder. This is a hand grinder. Come in a little bit, a little bit closer on the shot. You can obviously use like a different grinder as well. It doesn't have to be a hand grinder. And then I'm currently weighing out about 20 grams of beans, 18 and a half that'll do. As I said, you can buy them pre-ground, soon to be, futureselfcoffee.com. Then you're gonna pop them, obviously, into your grinder. Give it a little grind. <laughs> it's all part of the process. All of these little things, like grinding like this, the smell of it, everything, I honestly feel like adds up to enjoying the coffee more at the end. And grab your French press. Obviously, unscrew here. Let me see. Lovely. Have a little look in there. Pop those into your French press. And then over here, I've got the fanciest looking kettle ever. You can just have your normal kettle with your normal boiled water. This is just like a little fancy coffee kettle. It doesn't have to look like this. There's literally just boiling water in here. Pour that up to your portion. Pop the top on, but just let that sit for about four or five minutes. Do you want me to just film you sitting here for four and a half minutes? I think we've got better things to do. <laughs> yeah. It's been about three or four minutes. Got myself a little cup. It's time to plunge the coffee. We're in quite a rush. <laughs> and then just a little pour. Simple little coffee. Cheers. Hot. It's hot. <laughs> I felt just... like I had to sip it at the end of the video. <laughs> I'd not be like simple coffee and then not drink it. So I'm just currently sat down by the fire editing up the video that you are watching and I've just realized two things. Number one being that if you head over to www.futureselfcoffee.com you can now input your email address and you will be the first to know when the coffee is available and all of the accessories, all of the products that you might have seen me using over the last couple of... I was gonna say the last couple of months, but it's more than that. Over the last, maybe like 16 months. If you head over to futureselfcoffee.com, I will notify you and let you know, and you can be one of the very first people to order at the end of January when Future Self Coffee launches. And then secondly, 
This is my last video going up on this channel before Christmas and probably most likely before the new year as well. So I hope you have an amazing Christmas, however you're celebrating it. Whoever it is, whether you're by yourself or with your family or friends or uh, your partner, your children, if you can hear Otty running around in the background shouting dada. Whoever you're with, I hope you have an amazing time and the same goes for New Year's as well. Are you coming to say hi? Oh, mind my coffee. Do you wanna come and sit down? You're sitting down, okay. I don't think you're meant to see that. That's a Christmas present for you. <laughs> Say bye bye. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? We don't get near the fire. It's hot. All right. Say bye bye. Bye bye. See you in the new year. Bye. All right. Take two. My memory card just went full. Otty ran in and just started grabbing Christmas presents that she shouldn't even be seeing yet. As I was saying, I hope you have an amazing Christmas, an amazing New Year's. Thank you just so much for all of the support on everything I do. I've just had such an amazing year and I've enjoyed making the videos that I have done and documenting my life as it is. I feel so lucky to be able to keep making videos and having so many of you watch them when I'm just documenting my life as it changes and as it evolves and I've gone into dad life and yeah, just so lucky. So thank you so much for continuing to support in every single way you possibly have and hopefully next year is going to be going to be just as fun i appreciate it i'll see you in january thank you so much